welcome to this happy place. Welcome to Lilo and Stitches. We're your host Jen and Chris. Now today we're gonna talk about maskless at Disney. <laughs> I'm so excited. We just got back and we for the first time got to breathe the fresh Disney air and just be maskless. And before we get into this we're not at all recommending anything one way or the other, whether you should wear a mask or shouldn't wear a mask, whether you should get vaccinated or not get vaccinated. We're just telling you our experience. We are both fully vaccinated. Our oldest daughter is fully vaccinated, so we were all able to go maskless in the park. And there are people who still wear masks and because they feel comfortable wearing masks. Totally cool. Totally understand. We're just talking about our experience. Yep. <laughs> what was it like? to go into the park for the first time with no mask on. It felt good. I think I think it felt and I think because there were other pe tons of other people who were not wearing masks it made it feel normal again. Um and obviously we went in summer, so it was a significant relief to not have to walk around in the hot air, the humid um, hot air. <laughs> yeah. And 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 I think that's the one thing to point out though is that so much changed while we were there. So be, just before we went, it was you could, if you were vaccinated, people and, and everybody could go without a mask in the open air. So if you're outside, you can go without a mask. But if you went inside or you went in a ride queue or on a ride, you had to wear a mask. So that's what we had planned on going down. And then things evolved. Like day every, every day, something new was coming out, some new rules, some dropping this, dropping that. It was it was really exciting to see all the different things changing. I was on the blogs every night looking, trying to see what's new, what's new. And the rules are still changing day by day. Yep. Disney is updating um, what they believe is safe for us and what they believe is safe for their employees. Yep. And during our trip, it was like midway through the trip, the cast members actually, the vaccinated cast members got to remove their mask. And we walked up to Magic Kingdom and we were at the entrance where you tap your magic band to get in. And it was our first time seeing a cast member without a mask on. And I walked up to him and I was like, it is so nice to see your face. And his whole face lit up. And he's all, it's my first day getting to wear it with no mask yeah. in over a year. Yeah, it was it was that, that plus the, when you went to like, there was no more temperature checks when you went to restaurants. Uh, there wasn't temperature, a temperature check tent to get into the park. You know, so that was that was really it, it was significantly different from our last trip. Yeah. And it, it certainly made things easier. Now obviously when you got on transportation, well like when you got on the buses, the bus. you had to wear masks. Or the monorail. Yeah, and, and because we were so used to like running around without masks while we were there, I always had my mask when I knew we were gonna ride the bus. And sometimes I would forget when it was time to go get on the bus, I would forget about my mask. Mm -hmm. And there was one time the bus driver was on mask. I'm like, yep, sorry, totally forgot and put it on. Uh, and that was the one thing that was getting adjusted to is the difference of having your mask on all the time, which we have done in the past several visits. And now getting used to mask off outside, mask on on the rides, mask on when you're going in a building. And th these things are changing day by day. So like, what we're saying we experienced last week is, is changing through time. Family interruptions. <laughs> what was I saying? You were just talking about, you know, the mask. No mask. So that, that was the one thing we were getting used to. Now, if you've been with us for any length of time, we haven't had this channel very long, but we went back to the parks pretty much right after they opened during the pandemic, in the height of the pandemic. We it went June. back. It yeah. was June last year. We went Two back. Two weeks after they reopened. As soon as they opened, we were there. And so we kind of have experienced all of the progression of the wearing a mask everywhere, all the time at Disney, constant hand washing, constant hand sanitizing. We were there through all of that. Social distancing. Social distancing, all of that line stuff. spacing in the, just everything was halfway closed. And we were there through all of that. So to go back, especially in the summer. <laughs> And not have to wear a mask to be able to breathe. Like it was an emotional thing because it gives you hope that the world is going back to whatever normal is going to be now. And it just was just it was an amazing experience. Yeah, I think one of the one of the really interesting parts, you know, was going without a mask was it was one of those things where early on I was concerned that I, you know, it was gonna be too hot. So we ended up wearing paper masks when we were in the park. 
um, and regular masks when we were going to like at our hotel because the cloth masks were okay, but not for a long time. And the paper masks were really breathable for us, so that was it. And just not having to wear a mask in the heat and humidity in Florida was just, it was great. And, you know, and I will tell you, for people who are concerned because of um, social distancing, Disney has removed social distancing pretty much throughout the park. So they are packing them in. They are putting people on rides. The They're crowds putting, are back. Yeah, the crowds are back. <laughs> They're doing single riders, you know. So, so if... Social distancing is still something that you're concerned about. Um, yeah, there definitely isn't social distancing anymore at Disney World. I think even in the restaurants, social distancing is all but uh, disappeared. Um, so and 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 so that's that's obviously a concern for folks. There is still hand sanitizer stuff throughout the park. There's um, still a lot of hand. There's not as many like they took. I didn't see any hand washing. Yeah, they stations, didn't have any hand washing. But you still wash your hands in the restroom, obviously. But there are still hand sanitizer stations at the beginning and the end of all the rides that we went on. So they're still available. They're still, like, right there for you to keep your hand sanitized. Yeah. And I think not wearing a mask, one of the really good things about not wearing a mask is you're so used at Disney, it's hot, so you want to bring something to drink, right? Well, the past, you used to have to pull over, stop, sit down away from people. Then you can take your mask off. Then you can take a drink. Then you have to put your mask back on. Then you can move on. But you couldn't drink while you walked. Now... You can drink and eat your Mickey ice cream bar, eat your box of popcorn, <laughs> wherever, whenever. And it's so strange how we take these things for granted. Yeah. Like before, it was just that was just the way life was. Like, it was. No big deal. But now it's like, oh, I get to actually walk and snack. <laughs> walk and, and drink. And for me, I get to see whether <laughs> she's irritated or <laughs> mad or excited or because crazy, I can yeah. see her face. And so now I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not going to do that because she doesn't look like I should do that. <laughs> um, but but that's what I mean. It's like it, it is so exciting to be able to see other people's faces and other people's excitement. And like I said earlier, there are people who still wear masks. Whether they're vaccinated or not is none of my concern. It's not my business. Um, if they choose to wear masks, that's cool. Now, one of the things that did change, so while we were there, they said, okay, so no, you no longer had to wear masks indoors. And that changed while we were there. And so you, so we got down there, and it was you could only wear masks. You you had to wear masks um, indoors, but not outside. Um, then they changed it over there. You could wear them. You didn't have to wear them at all if you're fully vaccinated. Um, except and, on transportation. Except on transportation. Um, and that was like the, uh, the dogs are trying to come in. That was like the Ow. buses and the monorail. And they Ow. said the monorail and the buses. Um, the boat transportation, you didn't have to, and that's, you know, and that was good because it was like open air. And I didn't really notice, I didn't see if they said you had to wear them while you were on the boats that were enclosed. Did you? I think you had to wear them on the, like the friendship boats on, the on Epcot. Epcot. I think that was a requirement. I didn't really pay attention. I wore it on the boat on Epcot. Yeah, and I didn't really pay attention, so I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. But like I said, by the time you see this, the rules may be yeah. changing. And it may be completely different tomorrow. They're changing every single Things day. Things are opening every day. Yeah. We were there, and um, our da Disney Vacation Club home resort is Animal Kingdom. That's what was happening before. <laughs> Kadani Village. Um, we we recently um, were able to add on, and so our add on is Jumbo House. And so we were staying, and actually we were staying at Jumbo House, kind of because we added on, so we had some points. Let's go and use them, so we stayed. Um, Jumbo House itself is closed to the general public, and that's the hotel part of Animal Kingdom Lodge. And the restaurants in Jumbo House yeah, are closed. Yeah, the restaurants other than the Mara are closed. Mara's not open for lunch. The pool's open, the lobby's open, but it's it's really eerily quiet. Yeah. Um, but while we were there, a couple of days before we left, they made the announcement that Jumbo House was reopening in August. And I had seen a, a day or two before that there was activity going on in the BOMA. In BOMA. Um, a little bit of activity in Jico. So I was like, well, this seems odd. There was activity in the store. The store that was, is at Jumbo House was clo has been it's closed. It's very minimal. Like, they're doing it at night. Like, they're sneaking. Yeah. Like, it almost seems like they're prepping BOMA and Jico to reopen soon. So they had people in the kitchen and the fire going in the kitchen at BOMA. And that means they're prepping to open soon, I hope. Yeah. But also, the store... What is the name of that store in Jumbo House? Uh, Jahari Treasures. Jahari Treasures has been closed. 
it is completely empty. There's no stock on the shelves at all. But we would walk by and the light would randomly be on at night. Yep. And there would be like a mannequin would have shirts on. Yep. And so it's little tiny things and everything else is still empty, but the light's on and they put shirts on the mannequin. So right. they're hinting towards everything is coming well, back open there. Well, it's kind of like very, um, very exciting. Victoria Falls Lounge was a Jumbo's house, Jumbo house is is a, a nice um one of the places i've been hoping would be reopened because when we go back in december for our fam our extended family trip we're staying in a grand villa and so there would be a night or two where i don't know if maybe me and jen and um the others might want to go down and grab a drink at the the lounge or whatever well not now but uh would want to go down and grab a drink at the lounge but that but the lounge is also closed and while we're there um I decided to take the stairs down instead of the elevator and the stairs down go right by the lounge. And there was actually a couple of cast members after the announcement was made that they were reopening, going through and taking inventory of all the alcohol and glasses and stuff in the lounge. So, and that was something, there was no activity. I mean, it seemed like the place was like mothballed when we first got there. Yeah. Um, so lots of changes going on. Um, f announcement for fireworks in July while we were there. Um, and actually, last night, well, last there was night, testing last night. There was, yeah, but this video is not airing tomorrow, so sorry. <laughs> or today. So Saturday, sometime night, this week, says, they were testing at Magic Kingdom fireworks to prep because fireworks are coming back in July yep. at the parks. And well, they've been testing Animal in Epcot, King, not Animal Kingdom, Epcot and Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. And by October first, so yeah, October first, which is the, by October first, which is the start of the fiftieth anniversary. There's a lot coming back. There's a new daytime stage show in Animal Kingdom, which we're excited about. Um, we loved Rivers of Light and uh, Animal Kingdom. It was a great show. Unfortunately, it's gone. Um, but lots of changes. Casey's Corner, which is a hot dog place, there, it's been mothballed for a while. No activity. And then all of a sudden, just activity each day, something different. Doors open, new tables, tables and chairs. So there's significant progress to get things reopened. Um, so I pay attention a lot to, you know, a lot of the rumor boards that are out there. Um, and then, and those folks will end up posting news as soon as they break. So we're keeping an eye on that kind of stuff. And really, it, it's really heartening to see all this, this activity because, you know, we, we love going to Disney and going maskless was like a huge step for us, for, for Disney. And cause it was one of those things where it was, you don't really... It's okay to wear it. You go to the grocery store and you come home or you run to the, the pharmacy and you come home. But walking around a theme park for hours, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, however many hours it is, yeah, it's going it to get hard. It. Yeah, it, it was it's hard. It's hard. And so the idea that you could breathe air and see other people's faces, it's just the just little seeing things. other people is what gets to yeah. me. Just seeing the cast members especially because, you know, sometimes like theme park guests were cranky. Like it happens. Yeah. But just seeing the cast members like smile yeah. back at you and just that sense of magic is what really gets to me like deep in my heart. Like I get so excited to see other people smiling at each other. Yeah. It is it the fact that that is back is so amazing. Yeah. And and on the friendship boat thing going back, I just remembered that you were absolutely <laughs> right. Yep, they are required <laughs> because we were getting in line and there was a a guest uh, leaving the the he was turnstile. a young twenty something man. I think he, he was, was older than that. But well, it they were matter. leaving the he the line for to get on the friendship boat to go from Canada to Morocco, um, and we were trying to hurry up and get over there because we wanted to start in Morocco and eat our way because they have the festival going on from Morocco back towards Canada. Um, and so we went to go get in line. And the guy was and I happened to not have my mask on because I was going to the line and I had stuff in my hands. And the guy's like, they're not going to let you on without your mask. I was like, what? And the, and the cast member, and I pulled my mask out, and the cast the member. The captain. The cat, one of the captains, because there's a captain <laughs> and somebody else. So it was the captain said, you know, don't pay attention to him. He's just mad because he did, I told him he had to put a mask on. He didn't have a mask on. But was, what was really interesting is this cast member, the, the captain, kind of took it all in stride. Like, she un she'd been doing this for so long, so when we were getting ready to leave... That probably happened to her on a day. Yeah, so, and so it didn't affect her, at her the way she acted toward us, because she was still very pleasant, very happy, very cheerful. So we went to go get off the boat. I told her, I was like, you know what, don't let people like that, you know, bother you. She's like, I don't. So the truth <laughs> of the matter is, 
Yeah, so, yes, on Friendship Boats at Epcot, you do still have to wear masks. And you know what I liked about that interaction, though, is, like, she saw him take a stab like that at us about the mask, and she jumped in immediately and said, that was not about you, that was directed at me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she, like, took the brunt of it and made sure that, like, we were still happy and cheerful and whatever, getting yeah. on the boat with all our kids. So I did want to go back and tell you guys that. That's why I brought it up again. And and we had, you know, we, we've been on a hiatus for a couple of months now, um, the just whole, life being busy. Yeah, just just everything going on with life and being busy. But we've gone back. We've got definitely got some more content to be able to to talk to you guys about. Um, definitely want to you know we had a real good um, positive uh, feedback from the videos where we're talking about size. A lot of you talking about size at the parks, and a lot of you know. Uh, <laughs> matter of fact, one of y'all posted. I think it was yesterday or today. Um, you went to go get on the ride and your, your kid pulled down the, the bar and you couldn't breathe, but you're like, screw it. I'll breathe when the ride's over. <laughs> Been there. Been there. Totally understand that. <laughs> Matter of fact, it happened on Slinky Dog Me Nest too. Just last time. <laughs> um, but, but that's what's great about Disney is we are bigger people, um, uh, and, and we can ride Slinky Dog Dash and we, and, you know. I don't know if I could ride Rock and Roller Coaster because I haven't wanted to try it in a long time. But, you know... They're... I'm going to try it. Yeah. Next time we go, probably December, I'm going to yeah. try Rock and Roller Coaster again. But that's see. what I mean. is is Because like... I have been able to ride it, but I was about 40 pounds lighter than I am now. The only problem I had with Rock and Roller Coaster is my top area. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will try it. So, Slinky Dog Dash and um, uh, Tower of Terror... Um, those are all the rides, you know, those, those are thrill rides, right? And those are rides you can ride. And for bigger people like us, we can ride it. So I think that was one of the amazing, one of the great feedback that we'd received from you all was that you were nervous about going, you were scared, you weren't going to be able to ride stuff. And sure enough, you've gone, you found that you can ride stuff at Disney. Disney is not a thrill ride park like Universal. So unfortunately, the rides aren't designed the same as Universal, which are designed for smaller people. But, you know, certainly Disney is... Is, and that's what makes Disney great. Is Disney is a family theme park, right? Yeah. And so now you can go back and feel somewhat normal again, and not wear masks. And 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 you know, yes, there's there might be some concern about social distancing, but the truth of the matter is, is if you're worried about social yeah. distancing and you don't want to be close to people, just take a step back from the people yeah. in front of you. Just try to be mindful of your space. If that's something you're uncomfortable with, just try to make space around you. If you wear a big backpack, people can't stand yeah. as close to the back of you. Well, the <laughs> you other... can fill it up with lightweight stuff, like stuffed animals. Like, just put it on your back and they won't yeah. be able to get as close to you. And the other thing, too, is is feel free to tell someone, um, can you back up, please? Just you a know? little bit. Just, just can be you polite. back up just a little bit, please? I, Would you I... mind backing up exactly. just a little bit? People are very receptive to that. For the most part, because they they realize what has happened and what is going on and whatever. Yeah, and if you're getting on a ride... Or just start coughing really hard and people back up <laughs> right. automatically right. and you'll right. be good. <laughs> and certainly do tell a cast member if you have concerns about social distancing. The cast members will listen and they'll probably seat you where you have some space. Uh, because the other thing that has occurred and, and actually occurred while we were there multiple each day, something new happened. The dividers between rides are coming down. Um the land dividers came down. Uh, the the rise of the rise resistance, of the resistance that was came the best. down. The rise of the resistance had plexiglass in the the in between the first and the yeah. second row, and it affected. And because we're bigger, we take up like more than just one seat, so we need the extra room. So we always take up two rows on that ride. Well, we would sit in the back and be behind plexiglass, which has a lot of glare, just much like my glasses. <laughs> and if it's dirty, and then you see the fingerprints. Yeah, and so it it definitely, especially in Rise of the Resistance, affected your ability to see the ride, and that was irritating, and it's gone now. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it is way a better experience with that gone. And now that the plexiglass is gone on the land, that is amazing, because when you're riding on the land, there's so much plexiglass that you cannot see except out your side. And if someone's in the middle, their view is so skewed. It's almost not worth it. Yep. But now it's the plexiglass is coming down. And I'm holding out hope for more restaurants opening, more hotels opening. I'm holding out hope for bringing back things like the dining plan. Bringing... Finding Nemo the musical. Oh, yeah. And we're going we're gonna to talk to you guys soon. We're going to do another video where we talk about the the... Um, Lion King. What was it? What's the title of the show now? Um, I have no idea. 
<laughs> celebration of the Lion of the Festival of Lion King. That's okay. the title. It's the ce- a celebration of the Festival of Lion King. So it's a truncated Lion King show. They just brought it back. We're gonna do a whole episode on right. just that. I cried during it because it was so nice to have it back, and it was just there's there's parts of it that are beautiful. But we will discuss that in another video. But we really wanted to just pop on today and talk about how freeing and how amazing yeah. it is to be maskless at the park and to see the cast members maskless and to just. The plexiglass is coming down like big changes are coming to Disney. And if you haven't been since the pandemic, now is the time to start going back because everything is coming back to normal. It's not 100% normal, but it sure felt good and it felt as normal as it could be. And they're still they're still doing the special interactions with the characters at the train station and Main Street. So there's still cavalcades here and there. There's still very special, unique things that the pandemic brought to the, to the world. And I like those things. And, so. and I don't think some of those are going to change. I think there's still going to be cavalcades because they realize that these surprise shows are a bit of magic in themselves. Yeah. You know, and there's, it's not scheduled. You don't have to sit someplace for two hours. And wait and for a parade. Wait for a parade. It just happens. And yeah. If you're there, you're there. If you hear it, you run to it, <laughs> you know. Um, but, but the truth of the matter is, is if, if you're vaccinated or not, uh, if you want to wear masks or not, that's entirely up to you. If you want to wear masks, go for it. You know, nobody's going to judge you. Cast members aren't going to tell you to take it off. You know, so don't worry about it. If you don't want to wear a mask, then hey, it, it, things are things if are. If you still want to sanitize everything with hand sanitizer, yeah. by all means, which we go still right do ahead. use, we still do. I don't. Well, I know you don't. I, <laughs> I got skin do. problems. I stopped using the hand sanitizer. But I'm still careful. I try to keep my hands clean. I try not to touch things. I'm more aware yeah. of what I'm doing with my hands. Yeah, and that, I'm definitely a lot more aware of where I put my hands. And I and getting off the rides, I still <laughs> that do. Sounded bad. <laughs> well, getting off the rides, I still do clean my hands. They still have the hand sanitizer when you get off. So I do still clean my hands when we get off because everybody touches the bar and the rail and all that stuff. And little man's always using hand sanitizer so we just let him go to town he, with that. he learned it from us but he also learned it really good with school so like he is very very hand sanitizer everywhere we go all the time yep. and so i'm trying to have to reel him back from doing it so obsessively now but yeah yeah needless to say it was a great time had by all um we definitely have some content and then when we go back um in december we will definitely be showing you guys some christmas content what oh, things yeah. All the things that have changed then, because there's going to be significant differences. We're going to show you the room, uh, the grand villa that we're going to be in. Um, just a lot, a lot of stuff to come. Um, and if you stay tuned for the next couple of weeks, we are planning, we're going to show you, I did a room tour of yep. the room we were staying in at Kadani Village. And we also are going to talk about, we're going to have a couple of mini episodes where we talk about like some of our favorite things that we've experienced in the parks and just stay tuned. We got some good content coming up. It's, we're going to release probably on a weekly basis. So one video a week, just so that we can keep up. Yeah. But oh, we thank you guys for sticking around and all the newbies. Welcome. We're glad you're here and uh, we will see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.